I understand the perspective you're coming from, but surely you must agree that by making the railway uncertain in its operation from the eyes of the consumer, the people who pay a you're lot of money... You're talking about when we're on strike or when we're not on strike? When you're on strike. What about the days when we're not on strike, when it's absolutely useless as well? <laughs> that, that's, that, that's, a whole when other, that's a whole other evidence no, it's session. not. So since the timetable change that came Mr. a couple Lynch, of years Mr. ago, Lynch, Mr. the whole thing is disastrous. You must accept that people are being driven away from the railway because yeah, of the uncertainty of knowing fault. whether it's whether it's running, because whether it's on strike or not, people are going back to their cars, they are going to coaches, they are just not travelling. You know, we've seen the evidence from UK hospitality that you know, the hospitality sector took an absolute bath in December when they're meant to, because people couldn't get into predominantly London. It's not a question, is it? But so I think it's your government's you, fault is my answer when you get there. driving people away from the railways? No, you are. Your government. Right, 